The community is coming together tonight to try to save a classic Denver theater. The Aslan Theater has been a pillar in the Santa Fe Arts District for decades, but now it's at risk of closing its doors for good. Denver 7's Christian Lopez sat down with the theater's owners and explains the fight to keep the doors open. Stepping inside the Aslan Theater gives you a front row seat to Denver history. We did a lot of community things here. It's like the second home. The theater was built nearly 100 years ago. Tim and Aurora Correa have owned it for more than half that time. You know, when you're growing up poor, you have that uh, thinking about, hey, you never have anything that you can call your own, you know? So that might have been part of the uh, 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 thinking at that time also. So anyway, I decided to buy it. Starting out as a place to watch Spanish-American films before transitioning into a bar and music venue in the 80s. All different kinds of music. It's been a part of Rose Sanchez's life for over 20 years. I can't remember if it was word of mouth or I just noticed the theater in the neighborhood. It means a lot to me because it is like a cornerstone of the community of the Santa Fe Arts District. But now the theater's future is uncertain. The Correas say a rise in property taxes could soon force them to sell. They don't consider the, the you know, the, the condition or the income of the building. Friends are now joining in in an effort to help save the staple in the Santa Fe Arts District. Just the history and um, and the people, the owners, they're incredible. I feel like they're family. Right now to keep the doors open, they need about $16,000 to pay for property taxes that are due mid-June. The community has launched a fundraiser to help them out. We'll post a link to this on Denver7.com. Once this gets taken care of, they are hoping to apply for historic designation. In Denver, I'm Christian Lopez, Denver 7. So the theater still opens every Friday at 530, and every first Friday of the month, they have live music. Going in depth, this isn't the only historic theater in Denver facing an unfortunate demise. Landmark Esquire Theater officially announced it will be closing its doors for good this July. The historic theater has been a part of Denver's Capitol Hill neighborhood since it opened as a single screen theater 97 years ago in 1927. Back in December, a group of movie buffs launched a campaign to try to keep the iconic theater going, asking the city for landmark preservation despite the announced closure. My initial reaction to hearing that, you know, there's no option for a lease renewal in spring 2024, it was, it wasn't um, hopelessness, it was more just like, I know how many people love this place, like we've got to make some noise or I don't know, we can't go down without a fight. Well, despite the good fight, the theater will close. The Esquire Theater building will not be demolished. Plans call for a transformation of the existing building into upscale office, restaurant and retail space.